So today we're going to talk about quadratic regression, which is referred to as the curve of best fit. So just like before, when we were graphing lines, sometimes you have a scatter plot that's going in a positive direction or a negative direction, and then you come up with a best fit line. But sometimes you have ordered pairs that create not a straight line, but could be more of a quadratic, like a U-shape, a parabola. And so then you need a curve of best fit. So in order to calculate this using your calculator, you're going to go to desmos.com, click on start graphing. And just like you did with best fit line, you need to put in the ordered pairs into a table, right? The ordered pairs that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign. I'm going to choose table. And then I'm going to type in the ordered pairs that I have on your sheet. So we've got my x values go 7, 5, 8, 10, and 13. And then my y values go 15, 19, 14, 18, and 25. And so there are my ordered pairs, and if you notice, you can't quite see them, so I should either zoom out so that I can see them, and if you notice, it looks like these ordered pairs create more of a curve. So what I'm going to do here is come up with a quadratic regression equation, or a curve of best fit. All right, so in my table, I want you to pay attention that we have x1 and y1, so we need to refer to x1 and y1 in our equation. So I'm going to type in, my equation is going to be in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, because that's the general form of a quadratic equation. So we're going to type in y1, because the y value we're referring to is called y1, and then we're going to use that little similar key again, which is right above the escape, or below the escape key, so you have to hit shift to get it, and then we're going to say ax1 squared, and so to get the squared key we go down here to get our keypad, hit a squared, and I'm going to put that away. So y is similar to ax squared plus bx1 plus c. And there you have it. Once we do that, you get your parabola right here being graphed that fits pretty close to the data that we typed in. And then right here, down here where it says parameters, you have your a, your b, and your c. So if you were to write the quadratic equation for that, it would look like this. It would be y equals the a term, let's say I ask you to round it to the hundredth place, would be 0.41, so it would be 0.41x squared, plus, oh actually it would be minus, the b term right here, 6.49, plus, oh, x, plus 40.84. And there you have it. And so if you look at your graph, the one that I typed in, even though it's an estimate, it still hits that parabola really quickly. So this would be our equation that we would then use to make predictions.